Welcome to Tammy's Tiny Tots Reborns. Well, today is Fashion Friday, and I am able to make a video today. Yay! So I thought I would put something on little Olivia here. She is my full body silicone Bella sculpt, and um, reborn by my wonderful friend Trina. And I thought I would make a video with her and change her into an outfit that her Aunt Cassie got for her before she actually came home. <laughs> She's so cute. She's just a tiny little girl. So we're going to take off this stuff. And I think I'm going to give her a powder. And then I'm going to put this right here. And then I might just redo the whole thing. Okay. So I'm going to give her a little powder after I get her undressed. Because she needs a little powder. And don't you, little girl? Yes, you do. You need a little bit of a powder. So, I hope everybody has had a good week. Got lots done this week. I've been working on rooting. Um, which kid is it? I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, let's see, they won kit for the doll show that I'm rooting right now. Oh, Trinity by Lorna Miller Sands. That's the name of it. Trinity. So that's the one I'm working on. I had three heads I want to root. And I, I thought, well, the Trinity is the biggest head out of the three. So I thought, you know what? Do the biggest head first. And then when you get to the smaller head, it doesn't seem like so much work left to do. <laughs> so she's she's getting done slowly but surely. The diaper's all bunched up on your butt. She looks so grumpy. Grumpy girl. All right, we're going to give her a little bit of a powder. And then we'll be ready to put this new outfit on that Aunt Cassie got for her. Now, this outfit was... Oh, there we go. There we go. This outfit was handmade by this wonderful lady that um, has a little shop right beside McPherson's. Look at that. Isn't it adorable? It's just a little uh, romper thing. I wish I had a, a white onesie to put on underneath it. I have a long sleeve onesie, but I don't have any short sleeve shirts like that would fit her. I have a long sleeve one, white onesie, but I don't know if I want to put long sleeves on her or not. It is like still summer in a sense. So I was thinking just sleeveless would be fine. And because she is silicone, we can get away with a lot more sleeveless stuff, can't we? Yes, we can. All right, let's give you a little powder everywhere. Belly, neck, chinny, chin, chin, face. <laughs> give her a little powder in just because. be her first powdering since I brought her home. So. Right. so quiet weekend I think around the house this weekend. My granddaughter I think she's going to be here Saturday night for dinner but that's it. She's not spending the whole weekend this weekend. So She's going to come just to have dinner with her dad this weekend. So, that's the last dinner. But, yeah. Uh, Got to go do some groceries. Realized that I didn't realize how far, like, low I was on... My frozen meats. <laughs> I need to go meat shop. I hate meat shopping. It's I, I I load the deep freeze. And when I load the deep freeze, I mean I load the deep freeze. Let's do your little backy back here. Um, I get enough stuff, you know, that lasts six to eight months because I hate grocery shopping. I absolutely despise groceries. I hate going grocery shopping. So, yeah, I always... Uh, over, I guess you could say I overstock up on 
stuff so that I don't get a hair on your cheek. There we go. Um, so that I don't have to shop often because I hate shopping. Oh, I hate it. I don't know why I hate grocery shopping so much, but I do. I really do. So I, I think too, when my kids were young, like really young, um, I would do a huge grocery shop. Like I'd pick up what I, I needed every two weeks when I got paid. But every month here in Canada, you get a baby bonus or a child tax benefit, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so on the 20th of every month when the child tax benefit would come in, I would, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, I would go and do a huge, gigantic grocery shop. Um, like I, I had four kids, um, back then I had four by myself. So, um, on the 20th, I would go and do a massive grocery shop and fill the cupboards up real good. And then the rest of the two weeks until, or the rest of the month, I would just pick up stuff here and there on, uh, paydays. And, uh, cause my paydays, well, I didn't, I didn't make a huge amount because I worked for a donut shop for goodness sakes. I worked for country style donuts <laughs> when the kids were little. And so I didn't, you know, I didn't make a huge, these socks are such a pain. I didn't make a huge amount of money every paycheck. So baby bonus time was the best time for me to go and do a large shop. So I'd go and do a big grocery shop on the 20th of every month and load my cupboards up so that basically every two every two weeks when I got paid, you know, I just had to buy the, the necessities that you run out of frequently, which would be milk and bread and cereal and lunch meat and things like that. That's what I, how I did it. So I guess I kind of got myself used to not grocery shopping a lot. And I began to just hate grocery shopping after that. <laughs> just began to hate it, not really enjoy it. Put your little boot, booty in there. Put your other arm in there too. There we go. Get your little booty in there. Oh man, Cassie, this is going to fit perfect. Oh, it looks so cute on her too. So now I know with this little girl, and if anyone else buys this kit, the Bella, um, that the 18-inch um, doll clothes, because these are from, like, she makes them for, these clothes she mostly makes for the American Girl dolls. Um like basically to fit that size and look at they fit her perfectly she fits American girl clothes absolutely perfectly yes you do so I need to go and find her more outfits when I go there again because they fit her perfect yeah but it's hard because they dress like the American Girl outfits. A lot of them are made for you know the more a doll with a, an older, um, you know like they're made for dolls that are supposed to be more old like older than a baby. So you can't get you know like little cute sleepers and and babyish outfits. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks about the um, American Girl clothes is because sometimes the clothes are a little more mature style for than a tiny baby like like she is. Like she would be a preemie baby. So I'm trying to keep the socks from sticking to the Velcro. There we go. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Oh. Look at her, Cassie. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute on her. So cute. So I now know that 18-inch outfits from this 
lovely lady that um, that makes these these things. Um, I know now know that any time I pick her up an outfit, 18 inch is perfect for her because it does it just fits her nicely. I hate I hate how big these clips look on her for the passy clip. <laughs> just too much. Doesn't fit right. It doesn't work out right, does it? No. Okay, so there's her passy. I hate putting her pacifier in, but it looks so cute once it's in there. I'm just very gentle with it when I put it in. She could probably use a little, like a tiny smidgen of this passy length. all the way in her mouth today. There we go. There we go. That's better. All right. There she is. Looking super adorable. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed watching my changing video for Fashion Friday of her new outfit from her Auntie Cassie that she bought for her. And yeah. Hit that like if you liked this video. Hit that dislike if you didn't. But most of all, everyone, stay safe and smile. And share a smile with a friend. Bye-bye.